A program challenging students to step out of their comfort zones has returned to local schools for the second year in a row. Challenge Day will take place at various schools in the district. Today, the program came to the students of Lathrop High School. Based in San Francisco, California, this program has been around for over 20 years. 100 students, 25 adults, including volunteers from the community, participated in each event. According to officials, Challenge Day was created to build connection and empathy and make participants see that everyone is important. Principal of Lathrop High School, Karen Gaborik, says this gives students a chance to listen and interact with each other in ways they don't necessarily do in the hallways. Students having the opportunity to be together with a diverse group of kids, not just their friends, but a really diverse group of 100 students, and to have experiences that they don't otherwise have during the school day, and maybe not anywhere else in their lives, you know, because we kind of tend to move with our friends and with our groups, and so this really puts kids in a, in a situation where they have the opportunity to interact with each other and, again, see past the stereotypes, see past the, get past the boundaries and, and get to know each other. It's a great opportunity that um, doesn't naturally happen, you know, in other areas of school or other areas of their lives. The Challenge Day people have, um, they do a really great job of making it fun. And, you know, you sort of have these intense moments where you're getting to know each other and then you go back to a fun activity. So, you know, it's a, it's a nice balance for kids. Principal Gaborik says she plans to bring the program back next year. If anyone in the community is interested in participating, you can call 456-7794. One of the hardest challenges teens face in high school is fitting in. Since the late 80s, the Challenge Day organization has traveled throughout North America, addressing common issues among preteens and teenagers. This past week, they were at Ben Isles in Junior Senior High, and students there say this was a life-changing event. Whether it's bullying, gang violence, racism, or even sexism, each school has their own issues to deal with. For BEHS, it's something different. A lot of drama, gossip, backstabbing kind of stuff, and just um, things like that. There's some drinking and things like that, but it's not, it's not as day-to-day -day as the actual like, gossiping and like, rumors and stuff. Some of the most common problems were, you know, being alone and getting teased and bullied and um, gossip is a, it's kind of a big deal at our school and, you know, that was kind of what Challenge Day was um, going towards and um, to try to get rid of that and break down the barriers between students. The school district applied for a federal grant allowing the organization to come to the 49th state and share their message of hope. Challenge Day um, rep is, represents students from across every aspect of the student body and the program is set up that um, every student has a voice and um, it levels the playing field. A six and a half hour session of putting everything on the table. For some it was a learning experience about themselves and for others it was a chance to improve upon a relationship already blossoming. But my brother went too and so we're a lot closer because of it. This day helped me realize the person I'm supposed to be is me. I'm not supposed to be someone else. I'm not supposed to act like someone else wants me to act. I'm supposed to be who I was born as, me. The message was heard loud and clear. From principal on down to some of the youngest students, they've made a pact. We don't want, to, we don't want anybody to disappear in our schools. We want everybody to have a voice. And we are not going to allow negative things to invade our schools. We want to be positive and have every student have a very excellent high school experience. That report by New Center 11's Megan Lewis, Challenge Day visited the interior in the past, but this is the first time Ileson was part of their tour. Other schools taking part include West Valley, Lathrop, and North Pole.